Well, folks, we are in a great position. Our stock is strong, our box office numbers are consistent, and we control more media than we ever have at any point in the history of our company. <laughs> so, you may ask, what else could we possibly want? More? Precisely. And with that, I now turn things over to our fearless leader, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Bob Iger. Thank you, Mickey. The watchword for the year is auto-cannibalization. We can maximize our profits without much imagination. So all our beloved properties can reasonably expect a really simple film to show to book to theme park right trajectory. We'll remake movies shot for shot and not even rewrite them. Make a copy of a copy on and on ad infinitum. And our rivals at the box office can never hope to clobber us as long as we keep acting like a ravenous robberus. Hey! That picture was for your eyes only, Mickey. Walt Disney Company retains the right to use your likeness in any media worldwide and in perpetuity. <laughs> oh. By churning out recycled product fast if somewhat sloppily, our company will top the entertainment oligopoly. Our company will top the entertainment oligopoly. Should one of our competitors perchance achieve some prominence, we offer them a wad of cash and thus assert our dominance. The people look to us to entertain them and inspire them, and as the saying goes, if you can't beat them, then acquire them. From Marvel, Fox, and Lucasfilm to Pixar Animation, we're on track to reach our goal of universal domination. And if you think this all sounds a bit too David and Goliath, they tough shit because we live in a commercialist society. Until the day our company achieves complete monopoly, we'll have to be content with entertainment oligopoly. We'll have to be content with entertainment oligopoly. <clears throat> Great suggestions, but I fear we've lost sight of why we're here. Spreading joy by telling stories masterfully. Don't be blinded by your cash we need why not share our movies with the world for free what think about it everyone who worked on the old ones is long dead so why not gift them to the public domain what could be more noble and generous than that Besides, the way we do business is unsustainable. If we keep acquiring more and more, where does it end? This kind of hyper-capitalism is immoral, it's irresponsible, and it's destroying the planet. Friends, I propose we scale back, focus less on making profits and more on making art. Return to our roots by telling new stories with beautiful hand-drawn animals. <laughs> I trust there will be no further interruptions. And now, for the most important item on today's agenda. Now introducing Disney Plus, our brand new streaming service, at a low, low price that ought to make the folks at Netflix nervous. We own so many properties, so eminently saleable, so let's make Disney Plus the only place that they're available. <laughs> the streaming wars have started, and my friends, it's open season. Our entire canon will be on there. Really? Within reason. Nostalgia for our better days will be our bread and butter. We'll milk every single cash cow till they're bleeding from the udder. Cause the masses are so desperate to combat their daily tedium. They'll pay for things they bought already. Ready in a different medium We'll navigate the waters as they crash around us choppily Provide escapist wish fulfillment cynically and softly Consumers won't complain, they'll give us all their money Hopefully And that's the beauty of an entertainment oligopoly That's the beauty of an entertainment oligopoly That's the beauty of an entertainment oligopoly For every show on Old Broadway, a whole